The big mama. So the sun's still out, but it should be down in about 20 minutes maximum. And we'll be able to get some moon footage tonight. Hopefully you get a couple of hours. I'll be off tomorrow. Because, see, I'm trying to make it before the rain because they're announcing some rain for Saturday. But, of course, it can change. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get some nice viewing with the telescope. So, basically, the telescope is going to be connected to that television right there. So, that's how it's going to work. That television connected to Big Mama. So we can get some nice focusing of that television. It'll be a lot better. Hi everyone, welcome and thanks so much for taking the time to check out the channel. Thanks for connecting guys. The lunar surface, it's been my dream for a long time to be able to see the lunar surface in ways that we've never before. And this is what I'm trying to do. And successfully, and thanks to this community of this channel, of course, we were able to get a magnificent telescope a high definition telescope and what does the high definition do what's the difference with the high definition why fifteen hundred dollars more for hd what's the difference well there's a lot of difference for example here in mercer and Atatus, the little craterlets that you can see around bessel crater um you could just see more detail the apennine mountains here you'll see later on in the video we will get very close and i want to show you because of the line of light meaning where the dark and the light meets during the moon phase as it progresses and changes places on the lunar surface. Guys, it shows us so many details, meaning the shadows um, on the surface uh, where the line of light is really does show us details that we never see at all, either on full moons or when the phase is at the point the light is off the surface. Why? Because obviously now we're getting some foreshadowing, we're getting some depth, we're getting some um, color, uh, not color, but, but I mean shade uh, that's, you know, leaning its way, traveling through the light. That's what it does. It travels around the structures and bends and creates shadows. It's showing us a surface that is different. And because of that line of light, sort of helping us, it sort of paints some of the structures on the surface. And you'll see as we progress through the video later on. It's just amazing. And I got a lot of footage. This is from June 22nd, 2018. Thanks so much, guys, for stopping by and check it out. I'm on vacation right now, meaning not from this. I'm on vacation for my other job. Um, and now I'm going to have a lot of time to focus on the moon and whatever's going on up there in the sky, guys. And this is what I'm going to be doing day and night because I, I like doing this. It became, it was a hobby that quickly became um, my only interest. To the right, look at that, that's the wall. We'll take a look at that also in the next video. I'll get a very nice close up of the wall. We're talking 800 to 1000 feet. If, again, I'm just saying what the world knows. I'm not gonna change any of the equations and any of the amount of kilometers or sizes of craters because I don't know better than NASA or anyone what the sizes are. Of course, all we have to lead on is the sizes. I don't think that was lied about. I think more or less uh, what's, the, you know, it's the, the way we're looking at space. That's um, just unknown. We don't know a lot about that. Not everyone knows a lot about it. Why don't we see color in space yet? We can see the stars in Andromeda twinkling with the naked eye. Yeah, they're small, but we can still see the color. Why? It's in space. Why no oscillation over some stars and only over the moon? Look directly beside Plato Crater. To the left of it. Isn't that amazing? We're looking at a very symmetrical looking tunnel structure. These are the white objects beside Plato Crater that everyone looks at, that we all know the transient lunar phenomenon runs to the back of Plato Crater. But why don't we see these objects? You all know, those of you who know Plato Crater just a little bit, these objects are not always seen, almost never seen. But we're seeing it here very well because, again, the line of light and darkness is creating more shadows on the surface for us to be able to see more details on some of the elevated objects and 
this. I mean, guys, it's 30, 40 kilometers maximum from Plato Crater, maybe 60 kilometers at worst, at, at furthest. And we're still seeing symmetrical objects on the surface. How many times have I showed you Plato Crater? How come we've never seen this tunnel object? How come objects are appearing in different times? Has to be the haze or the clouds on the surface that are causing us not to be able to see certain objects on certain surface. Certain places. aeronautics space agency says the transient lunar phenomenon is what we are seeing at the back of Plato Crater. And I'm telling you, it is not because so long me at the end of this definitely constructed some type of construction we're seeing activity not uh, human activity or not alien activity well i don't think so but we're seeing a cloud lit up a fire uh, a bright light an illumination oscillating uh, and no it's not oscillating it's actually moving on the surface we can see it it's smoke or something and why is it coming out or connected to the end. That smoke could be hiding what is there, you know, but we're seeing it there. And why don't we ever see this? Like even me, myself, when I go over Plato Crater, we don't see it because the line of light is showing us details around the craters that we will never ever see unless the line of light is right there. And I'm also studying now where that line of light goes every single moon phase for every single month, both summer and winter. So these are gonna be amazing findings, but it's gonna take a year or so. So when I accumulate all this information, I'm gonna be sharing it with you. And we're gonna see some new information, credible information from an amateur astronomer who's gathered information every day, looking at the same things through different times of the moon phase. It's gonna be real interesting. I'm gonna share this with you guys. Why? Because we're going to see if there are any changes on the surface. And we're going to see how this moon really interacts. And at one point, we're going to understand so clearly exactly how this moon is really rotating. Because the moon does rotate. It takes a long time for it to do so, but it does. And every time at the end of the moon phase and it finishes its cycle, it's never in the same bloody place yet they say it's locked in place. It's understanding what they mean by lock in place. I'm outside right now while you guys are watching this. And yeah, there's clouds outside. I can't see the moon at all, but I still set up outside because now I am off work, guys, and I'm going to be getting a lot of moon footage. And not just moon footage. I'm going to be doing... I mean, I do what I can, and I try to get as many things as I can. Um, please take the time for those just joining the channel. Thanks for subscribing and welcome, of course. Take the time to check out the stars that I found in the constellations, many constellations. Orion, Lyra, Taurus, um, the constellations, Canis Major. There's so many more constellations. I got so many stars and it's my own um, photography, my own way of getting close to the stars and seeing their actual virtual colors. So yeah, we got some more moon footage. Sorry, this is from... Last night, June 22nd, 2018, some beautiful footage. And the, the full moon this month is July, sorry, is June 28th. So from now and that time, every chance I will get, I will be outside getting the moon. Tomorrow also, I will be answering comments. I'm long overdue, guys. I will have all this time to do much more now. Um, for a while for two months so thanks so much for the support and stopping by and taking the time to connect with me guys it's gonna be so much coming up this summer every single moon phase a different glimpse of the surface in always the same areas Archimedes crater Cassini crater here the Apennine Mountains we're gonna zoom into the Apennine Mountains beautiful and to see the details and of course the spider web-like objects passing over top of most and many of the craters. This is another strange anomaly. They look built, right? Why would they not be? Why would they not be built? Notice the shadows, triangle shadows, shadows, sorry, triangular shadows, straight objects. 
Therefore, they are not shadows. They are either holes in the ground, triangular shaped, or they're objects that are triangular shaped. Common sense. So the bottom left, the gray patch, Mare fecunditatis, Mare chrysium to the right, Proclus crater here with the massive supposed ray system. And now we're going upwards here. Look at the nice shot of Mons Argeus um, just east of Mare serenitatis. So Mons Argeus is right here, and this is Mare Serenitatis coming up here. We're going to pan upwards to the bottom part of Mare Serenitatis to see the indented layers, the descending layers at the bottom ridge, ridges, if you want. Here's Bessel Crater. And look at and, and notice all the craterlets that are around Mare Serenitatis. That's the difference. Those are the little differences, but important differences when you have a high definition telescope. So we aimed for the highest, thanks to the community, all along with a suggestion, of course, to get the high definition telescope. $1,500 more, guys, but it shows us all this beautiful detail. Watch carefully. This is a structure, I believe. Here's the front of it with entrances and massive columns. There's the back of it connected all the way to this craterlet. These are the little objects, little. They look little, but they're very massive. The Apennine Mountains, Montes Apennines. Take a look at this and the spider-like webs that go along, corridors, I call them, straight paths, tunnels. I keep repeating myself because it could be anything or many or all of these things. Archimedes right there. Thanks so much for connecting everyone, for taking the time to check out my videos. Stay tuned for the next video coming up right now.